If you take a couple days off from eating, you're not going to waste away. People always come to me and are afraid of losing muscle, and the idea of fasting just absolutely freaks them out. Now, I've done videos before. I've talked about intermittent fasting. I've talked about the benefits of fasting as it pertains to fitness, as it pertains to getting in the best possible shape, burning fat, building muscle, and that's great. Intermittent fasting definitely has its place there, and I've talked sort of about the 16-hour fasting window where then you introduce eight hours of eating. I've talked about how all of that works, and just for reference, a lot of that works from the stimulation of growth hormone. When you produce more growth hormone, you stimulate more lean body mass, you stimulate more bone density, and you usually promote some fat loss in the process. Now, there's other things that come into play too. You stimulate other hormones that help produce a little bit more in the mobilization of fat, but I want to talk in this video about how fasting actually affects something else other than just the growth hormone, other than just the fat loss, other than just the energy. I want to talk about inflammation. And I'm always talking about inflammation, but I think the mainstream media, when they're talking about intermittent fasting, they're ignoring the fact that there's actually some huge evidence towards potentially reducing inflammation. Now, you might be wondering why the heck does inflammation matter if you're just trying to get in shape? Well, it means everything. Because every bit of recovery that you have, every bit of healing, every bit of soreness, that's all about inflammation. So if we can fix that, or we can control it, and not have these chronic levels of inflammation, that means that the body can use more energy to actually heal, heal from your workouts, and utilize the food that needs to be utilized. When a lot of us think of inflammation, we just think of bloating. Now, I think one of the simplest ways that I can explain inflammation is to actually correlate it to pain. You see, whenever you have pain, you generally have some form of inflammation occurring. A good example is arthritis. And you know me, I like to talk about studies, I like to go into research whenever I can. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of research because I think it encompasses the entire topic, the entire purpose of what I'm trying to convey. So this study took arthritic patients. They took patients that had rheumatoid arthritis. And what they did with them is they had them fast for a period of a week. Now that's extreme. I'm not suggesting right out the gate that you go out and fast for a week, but this study was pretty interesting because it looked at how they fasted for a week and then it looked at the end result. And after a week, these arthritic patients showed a dramatic decrease in what is called leukotriene B4. Now I'm just going to call it LTB4. And what LTB4 is, it's basically an inflammatory marker that triggers the aggregation and the mobilization of neutrophils. A lot of fancy talk here, but neutrophils are basically a fancy way of saying the most abundant white blood cell. And these white blood cells are usually localized to wherever you have some inflammation. So in this case, the study found that LTB4 was decreased directly at the rheumatoid arthritis neutrophil. What that means is right where the pain was, right where there was inflammation, there was a reduction in that LTB4. So putting it all together, what does this mean? It means that by fasting for a few days, or for a week in this case, they were able to reduce inflammation at the site. That's pretty remarkable. Now, additionally, they found in this study that phospholipids changed. And when phospholipids change, it means the cell structure is changing. It means that the lipid profile of the cell membrane is changing, which means that different things can cross in and out of that cell. Now, it's been known for quite some time that when we alter the cell, when we alter sort of that phospholipid component of the cell, that inflammation can be reduced. It was previously found by introducing a large amount of omega-3 fatty acids into the diet, obviously a fat, that changed that cell and made it have more fat in it, right? That reduced inflammation. But what they also found with this study was when they fasted for a period of time, that that fasting also changed that phospholipid component, which means that inflammation was reduced just by fasting. That phospholipid changing the cell resulted in less production of that same Leukotriene B4, LTB4. All of this is just a fancy way of saying inflammation is reduced when you fast. Now, what does this mean for fitness though? Like seriously, what does it mean for you that's trying to get in shape? What does it mean if you're just trying to feel better? Well, like I said at the very beginning, when you have this inflammation, your body has to send all this energy to attack itself, to heal, to do what it's supposed to do. The body is just freaking amazing and it wants to heal, it wants you to feel good. So when you take control of that immune system and you allow yourself to feel better and you allow your immune system to do what it needs to do just to keep yourself healthy, well, then you have more energy for protein synthesis. Then you have more energy to build muscle, more energy to start mobilizing fat and more energy to get up and get going and feel the way that you want to feel. Now, I wouldn't be doing my best if I didn't throw another study in there. 
And this study takes something that I think is really interesting. This is called beta hydroxybutyrate that we're going to talk about here. This study found that a short term two to three day fast had a huge increase in BHB, beta hydroxybutyrate. Now, I know you guys are thinking, Thomas, you're getting like super scientific. All your videos are getting all scientific now. People have talked to me about trying to dumb them down a little bit more. So I'm going to explain beta hydroxybutyrate. Beta hydroxybutyrate is sort of a breakdown, sort of a broken down process of whenever we're dieting. Now, BHB is produced whenever we do like high intensity interval activity. It's a byproduct. It's also produced when we go into ketosis, but it's also produced when we fast. And this beta hydroxybutyrate directly reduces inflammation through a pretty unique pathway. It reduces inflammation by reducing something that is called the inflammasome. I mean, it sounds like Thunderdome. Like, it sounds horrible. It sounds terrible anyway. And the inflammasome is terrible. It's basically a series of rogue proteins that go out and trigger inflammation throughout your body. They're like the greasers. It's like a gang that just travels around your body saying, hey, let's have inflammation here. That's not what we want. So this beta hydroxybutyrate actually reduces the inflammasome. So those rogue proteins that cause inflammation get dramatically reduced. That means no more rogue proteins taking energy from you building muscle, no more rogue proteins taking energy from you burning fat, just flat out you feeling your best and doing the best possible things that you can do with your day. So what does this mean? What's the call to action? What should you do? Okay, I'm not a doctor. I can't go tell you that you need to fast for a week, but I can tell you it may not be a bad idea to take two to three days every month and do a full day fast. You're not going to catabolize that much. You're not going to break down that much tissue. I can promise you that. It's just a day. And the long-term benefit is going to far supersede that short-term negative effect of not having calories for a day. Do it on a non-training day where you're not expending extra calories. You're just allowing yourself to relax, not focus energy on digestion, and allowing your body to heal. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Or if you have any ideas on videos that you'd like me to do specifically surrounding inflammation or specifically surrounding fasting, let me know. And you can always click on the button and email me. You can always email my team. I've got a full team of nutritionists. I've got a full team of coaches on staff with me, willing to work with anybody that really wants to be their best. As always, keep it locked in here on my videos. See you in the next one.